everyone, welcome to the final part of this um, planner page um, series of videos. We've got um, a selection of leaves left to do, so uh, let's crack on really. Um, I am just going to come in a little bit closer and then we'll get going. I figured that we would use, um, just continue using the Scorpion set of Black Widows to complete the page really. I thought it would sort of make sense and tie it all together. I'm going to start with some of these grasses here. I think they're going to be quite easy. And I'm just going to grab my favourite colour, which is the olive green, and just do the, these ones first. Now I'm going to just do them all in one colour, really. Sometimes with glasses I do fade them towards the end. But these are all intermingled. So I thought I would just do them in in a solid colour really, be easier and they would stand out a little bit better, I thought. This because there's different things crossing them, all them going under other stems and things like that. So I'm just going through them all. I'm quite excited to see what this is going to look like when it's done. Now I have already decided not to do a background on this picture. Um, it can look really pretty with one. I'm actually going to do these grasses in here the same. Um, the reason I sort of started with the grasses is because they're sort of intermingled so it's a little bit difficult for example with this to quite see what's going on so I find it easier sometimes to just get cracking with a bit. Mark it out as it were so that I can then see what's going on with the rest. But yeah, if I was doing a background, I would probably do it quite light, um, maybe a pastel tone, um, and uh, probably maybe a light blue or a light pink, but I don't think it needs it. I think these colours are going to stand out better if there's no background, so I'm probably blocking what I'm doing. There we go. So I'm just looking through it all, you can't see it all because I've zoomed in, just to make sure I've done all the grasses which I have. And now I'm going to do these two. Okay, because these two to me look the same as each other. Um, and I am going to use quite a dark green, I'm thinking, with this one. The, um, hmm, no, not that one. Maybe that one. Yes, I think it's the same down here. Look, we've got this one. I have a feeling that this was the colour, the turquoise that I used for it, unless it's that. Now I'm just going to scribble it. No, it's the same as this one down here, so they'll be the same, which I think will be perfect. So what I did with that one was I did a really dark defined stem. Can you see? Yes. <laughs> and then did a darker bit at the bottom and lighter towards the tip. Try not to rush. I feel in a hurry today. I've uh, it's because I've it's quite early and I've got a lot of adrenaline first thing in the morning. I've got up, had breakfast, um, washed up, and uh, done a little bit on my computer, and here I am. But uh, I've got something on later, so I'm trying to slot you this video in. So maybe that's why I feel a bit rushed. Colouring always slows me down a little bit. I do colour quickly, it just makes me slow my, myself down, sort of thing, my thinking. There we go. And then this one, which I think is always good to slow down a little bit. I mean, yes, we're being told we need to make sure we raise our heart rate and exercise, but that's a very different thing to uh, sort of rushing about and being too busy. I pride myself on never being busy. Sometimes I have a long list of things that I need to do, but I don't want to think of myself as busy. It makes me feel stressed. And it's almost, when I was, when the children were at primary school, it was almost a competition at the school gates to see who was the busiest mum. Oh, I had to go here, do that, up there, around there, did this, that and the other. 
and I used to be part of that too. Oh, I'm in the PTA, I had a meeting, I baked some cakes, I, I went to shop, I cleaned the house, I did the washing and blah, 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 you know. But now it's like, no, I don't want to be part of that. So even if I have lots to do, I don't want to be part of the I'm so busy group anymore. I want to take it at a chilled, relaxed pace. I'm trying to decide whether to do this one the same, and I think I will. It's a really quite similar looking it's not identical, but I just think it would look nice in these colours. And it will stand out from this one behind as well. Like that. So now I try not to be part of that. I just work methodically through, have a good routine, always helps. Let's do this bunch of leaves here now. Um, you know, I'm going to pick the... Um, me and charcoal grid again I think we use that right at the very bottom I think it all slot in nicely with all these different colors we have here I'm wondering whether to mix it with something else oh I'm cold it's a shiver uh, charcoal green I think this radiator is working oh it is I'm gonna put my feet on the radiator my legs aren't long enough <laughs> Just move my chair forward a bit oh sorry I hit the desk oh that's it no, I'm my leg. This day desk is really deep. <laughs> it's too far away from the radiator. Um, it's quite chilly this morning. My husband has been brilliant. He's gone all around the house um, fixing all the radiators. Um, the um, he's put the heating up extra high so that they they're sort of forced on. They were on a little bit when we woke up. I'm trying to fade this towards the tip. Whoop! My pencils are wibbling, wobbling. And um, he, uh, he's he been round and some of them, the um, thermostats get stuck on the radiators. Um, there's one that he was really persevering with still that wasn't working. He managed to fix, we had loads that weren't working. So the kitchen one worked, I turned it off because our fridge is against it. The... Um, Downstairs hallway was working. That's got no valve, thermostat valve on it, so that's fine. Um, the um, cloakroom wasn't working, but apparently it just started working on its own, so that was good. I had been, I had tried to fiddle with it a bit, so but I'm not taking any credit. <laughs> it was just magic. So you see, I faded it towards the tip. I'm going to do the same on this one. So just more layers at the bottom, and. Um, yeah, so that was downstairs. Then on the middle floor, the um, there are two in our lounge diner. One was working, one wasn't, so he fixed one. The one in here wasn't working, he's fixed that, um, which is our little office room. Then on up, our bedroom one was working and our bathroom, but the my son's bedroom and bathroom weren't, so he fixed that. He fixed his bathroom. His bedroom is the one that's being stubborn. It always is. Um, then my other son's bedroom, his bathroom was working and his bedroom one wasn't, so he fixed that. So, uh, we're getting there. So, uh, it will all be ready for the winter. I mean, the thing is, we've got plumbers in and out with our work, um, going on on the house. So, if there is one that's really stuck, we can just ask them if they would mind helping to do it. But he's, he wants to do it himself. My husband, I think he, with all these sort of handy men around, it's making him feel a little bit inferior um, because he isn't really handy. But I don't care um, about that sort of thing. I think that looks fine. I was thinking maybe it needed another colour. I quite like it just like that, quite plain. And these are quite plain too, so I think it works. Um, where are we going now? We have got these big ones and they look really similar to these so I'm thinking I'm going to do them all at the same time so I'm going to come out so they're all in shot or else I shall forget to move the book and I've got to think about what colour to do um, that isn't that or that or that or that or that <laughs> um, so we've got this really light colour here. I think that'll be a bit too much, too bright. It looks very yellowy to me. Um, hmm. 
wonder what colour that is. Is that the grub green? Oh, I'm just going to scribble. Yeah, I think I'm going to do them the grub green. It is very bright. I think it will be quite fun. Yeah, because I don't mind that he isn't handy because he he works really hard and earns us lots of money. So we can afford to pay people to come in and do these jobs, you know. So I don't think he needs to worry. So that colour is actually... I can't see what colour... It's that, isn't it? Oh, well. It's a bit close, isn't it? What I think I'm going to do is fade it towards the ends of the bits of leaf, these these ends, and just add in a second colour, just a little bit on the tip, just so it's a bit different. I think it'll work. You know, we're all different in what we can and can't do. My dad's more handy. I think. I don't know whether people were years ago than they are now. I don't know, because my dad can put up shelves and he can do um, replace light switches. Not that we're supposed to. You're supposed to get a qualified electrician. Um, change lights, you know, light fittings, things like that. Whereas, um, and father and all can as well. Now this one, Hmm. See, we've got these. This one and this one. And these look very similar, don't they? This one's a bit different, and so are these three. I think I'll just go to these three. I think I'll leave that one as part of that bunch. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I've got a bit of a cold. Um, it's, it feels a bit better today, to be honest. It's not been anything too serious at all. But um, my husband... Um, has got it today. He did. We both did a COVID test actually, but we're fine. Well, I didn't think it was COVID, but we thought we would just do one just to make sure we didn't go spreading it about because we've got our workmen back in tomorrow, so we need to make sure we're not um, giving it to them. Uh, we've had it before. We know that we'll be fine. Um, but um, you know, we don't want to. It's other people that I've always worried far more about other people than us. Apart from when we actually had it, that was scary. But uh, we were fine. I just didn't know what to expect because it was before vaccines and right at the beginning, March 2020, when we hear, were hearing all these scare stories. And yeah, obviously, it, anyway, I don't want to get into talking about it. But we're fine. And that's the main thing. And uh, we feel very fortunate. So uh, that's that. It's just, I think my son brought this cold back from college so my other color for these is going to be the lime fruit um, and I'm going to do all the tips in this and just sort of mix it up in I find this one takes quite a lot of working to get the color out I don't usually find that with black widows but this particular one Seems to. My desk is all wobbly now. My husband was under it earlier, fixing the radiator. I don't know he's... I don't know. Hopefully he's not wibbling the camera. So I don't know if it really looks like I've used two colours. Um, it might just look like I faded the one colour. But either way, it doesn't matter. Just getting some, get a bit of a different colour in. I think that's this colour. So I was using my Prismas yesterday. I'm getting more confident with Prismas. It was, uh, I took a photo just now actually of the finished picture. I was really pleased with it. Um, but it was from Hannah Carlson's book, um, Daydreams. And I just really like that book. Um, I'm sort of doing more and more really in there. I don't know, her style is really appealing. 
but um, it's interesting because it takes you a few pictures to get used to a new book I find um, by someone that you haven't coloured before and then um, I'm just going to go back with my grub green and tidy up a little bit in some of these areas um, it takes you a little a few minutes sort of pictures to get used to the style but then once you've done a few it's good because it's like um, some authors I've got lots of their books like Hannah Carlson I've only got the one <clears throat> Where's Johanna Basford? Obviously, I've been colouring her since 2013. Not her, her books. <laughs> that would be a bit embarrassing, wouldn't it? Um, and uh, and so I'm really used to her style. That's better. And um, Rita Berman as well. I've got very used to her style of drawing, which is very pretty. But um, other other people takes a bit more getting used to this pop right in the middle. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by doing the leaves that I want to do the same as each other. And then I'm going to have a think about, <clears throat> excuse me, green grass, what I'm going to do with the others, whether I'm going to do the same or not. So this one I'm going to do with this colour. I'm just going to fade towards the tip of the leaf like that. Which colour is that? Have we done this one before? Can't see it anywhere. Oh, huh. that's okay. It's going to be quite a lot of it anyway. I'm sure we have. Just can't see it. <clears throat> so I'm going to do all the leaves that I think should be the same and then I'm going to look at the others and decide whether I want them to be the same or not. So just going through. Now if you don't have the Black Widows and you've been trying to follow along, well done. Um, it's not always easy to um, sort of substitute colours. But I don't think most of these combinations are quite straightforward so for this um, bottom one where we did the pink and grey green you could use the earth green and the um, Caput Mortem from the polychromos um, and then for these you know this is like grass green and leaf green and this would be more like permanent green um, the um, grass is more like earth green yellowish the um these ones like fallow green but um it's not always that easy to know what substitutes for what um i'm getting better at it and um there's color charts conversion charts between sets of pencils which can be really handy if you're following a color along and you have, don't have the um right brand um, I did that with, I did a colour along in Magical Jungle, <coughs> excuse me, and um, they used, what did she use? Um, I can do this one. Um, she used Spectrum Noir or something, I think, I can't remember, but I found a conversion chart anyway for, uh, for, um, Prismas or Polys, I can't remember. Oh, both. It was Prisma and Poly. So I used a bit of each, I think, depending on what I had, what worked and what didn't. And sometimes there isn't one and the chart just has nothing. And you have to just try and pick yourself. And I was doing this with Chris Cheng because she always uses Prismas. I was doing it for Polys. And sometimes on the colour for Claire chart I was using, colour with Claire, sorry, um, chart that I was using, there was no equivalent. And I just grabbed one and went for it and it worked. Now I'm thinking, no, these last two larger ones, I'm actually going to use a different colour. <clears throat> I'm going to use the Irish green, just so it's different. Now, can't decide whether to colour in those 
or leave them as gaps. I think I'm going to colour over them because it's a lot easier. Oh, we use that there, haven't we? That's okay. It's just easier on the smaller design to sort of ignore the um, intricacy. Now these, um, this will be a set of three videos and members would have already had all three, I hope, as a compilation video, that's my plan. And then non-members just have to wait um, for three days to get one part a day. And I know some people prefer getting them in shorter bursts anyway, so you can sort of keep up um, with it all. But I like to just give members a little something extra for their money. So uh, I release these compilation videos from time to time. Now I've I put on the membership um, information that there'll be at least one, one a month. That was because I didn't want to put a lot of pressure on myself to do loads all the time because it's quite tricky. But now there's quite a bunch of them um, available. I'm going to do those last two in a different colour. I think I'm going to use this olive green because I really like it. That's as good a reason as any. Um, so, um, so yeah, I tr there's a quite a bunch of archive compilation videos now for members. I think there's about 50. But I never want anyone to miss out because as nice as it is having members supporting the channel I don't want to um, discriminate for those who can't afford to or just support other channels who don't want to do, can't do everybody then, um, then I want there to be an option um, so that everybody can see everything. Right, there we go. See, it's quite a busy picture and therefore I'm quite pleased that I decided not to do a background. I think it would just be a bit much, unless it was something really plain. And even then, I think it would just take... Sometimes I think things just stand out better on white. And that's how I'm going to leave that one today. So, thank you for watching the rest of this little series. It's just a short one. But I'm hoping that today we might be having something from Johanna Basford's new book. But I'm not sure what day it comes out and what day I'm going to get it while I'm recording this. But, uh, my gosh, it'll be exciting. So, uh, thank you for now for watching. Hopefully there'll be something for you later today. We'll wait and see. Or maybe there was already. I don't know. But, uh, anyway, have a lovely day. And, uh, and thank you for watching. <laughs>